Okay, I want to have another um, me and you moment. When I was 15 years old, I had my first boyfriend. Um, my first love, my first kiss, all that good stuff, you know? And even then, I was still very scared to be gay or anything against what society or the other kids in high school wanted me to be. And so, it was a very secret thing. Very few people knew about it. I was happy. Through the years, I dated, you know, other guys, whatever. I, I did my thing. And still constantly questioned, you know, is this what I'm supposed to be? Is this who I'm supposed to be? Because society tells me no. Society says to me that I'm not supposed to be this way. That I'm an abomination. That I'm going to hell. That I don't deserve the same rights that every other citizen of this country has. When I was 19, I came out to my mom. My mom is my best friend. My mom is always there for me. My mom has been there more for me now, after me coming out, than she's ever been. In all the best ways. Heartache. New boyfriend. My mom's there. She walks with me. She talks with me. She was proof to me that it gets better. After I was, when I was 15, after my first boyfriend and I broke up, I was very depressed. Um, I resorted to drugs. 15 years old, I think in a way part of that came from something else that I'm not going to mention, but a lot of it. I mean, it was a mixed thing, I guess, you know, there were a lot of things, you're 15 years old, there's a lot of pressure on you, because you think that 15, and you think that your, your teenage years are the world, that they are going to define everything that you will be for the rest of your life, because that's what you're taught to believe. Throughout high school, they tell you, you know, that this is the road that you have to make to, to achieve something. While that's very true and it may be inspiring, there's so many lines in between that you have to read between because that's not the entire truth. You go on through the rest of your life making who you are. I have. I've matured. I've grown up. But I'm still the kid that I've always wanted to be because that's what I've made of myself. And I'm happy. I'm out. I'm gay. I'm proud. I'm alive. It gets better. It gets better. It gets better. There is nothing in this world that is ever worth taking your life for. Now, that is for gay people. There are a lot of other teens. There are a lot of other people in general that take their lives for various different reasons. A lot of them are because of relationships. I mean, people get depressed, you know, you lose someone that you love and you get depressed. And one thing that I've always told myself is that no man deserves your tears or woman, you know. Um, everyone will cry. It helps to, to get it out. But no person ever in your life deserves your life. They don't have your life in their hands. You do. And you make the best of what you have with what you have for yourself and for nobody else. I don't usually get all, you know, into this kind of thing, but as an artist, I can understand these feelings because a lot of these feelings are what I sing about or what I write about, you know, and so you know, it's very easy for me to relate to these 
kids and these and even adults that are even feeling the way that they are. Because I've been there, I've experienced things to a certain degree, you know, maybe more so than others and definitely less than others, you know. Um, but self-love is the only love, the first and the last. Funny. I, I am a hopeless romantic. I believe in all things love. And yes, it is always great when another person loves you. But nobody's going to, I don't want to say nobody's going to love you because it sounds wrong, it sounds negative, and I'm trying to be very positive. Um, you have to learn to love yourself. The moment that you learn to love yourself is the moment that the world will learn to love you too. And we will progress. And soon, maybe not in the next year, maybe not even in the next five years, but soon, this world will be better, and I believe that, because everything gets better before it gets worse, right? Maybe they say it gets worse before it gets better, but it's not how I live, and you shouldn't either. So, um, for all of you who are depressed, thinking of taking your lives, or hurting yourselves even, stop. Talk to me. I mean, there's so many, so many people that you can call and talk to, parents, friends, family, something. It's not a bad idea. It's gonna hurt to try, right? <laughs>